All right, hey there, Greg. This is my video showing you how I prefer magazines to be packed in a medium flat rate box. There are two styles of it. This is, of course, the one we want to use because you can drop magazines right into it. So what you do is you unfold it, turn it upside down so this is the bottom, you break it apart, usually you fold the end pieces in and you put these down. Now when you go to put it together, you want to make sure that this is it's parallel and not skewed like this. You want it to be parallel, especially because the stuff we're going to be putting in these boxes is probably going to be on the edge of, of, of fitting. If it doesn't fit and you have to squish it in too much, then I don't want to use this. We're going to have to find a different method. When stuff is close like this is going to be, um, regular magazines fit in this fine, but these porn things, they may be, they're, they're a little bit larger, so it's going to be tight. Tight is fine, but I don't want squished and wrecked. Um, but one thing you, that I could, you can you can manipulate a little bit is if it's going to be a little bigger, I, it's that you can kind of like not squeeze it together so much. But what you want to make sure of is that, that, that the flaps are parallel. And so then what I'm going to do here is tape down. By the way, this tape that I'm using is, is, is really thin. The, the tape that I bought for you to use is thick packing tape, and that's better. So like before, I, I put it on the edge, and then I line up these two flaps to make sure they're totally parallel because if it's skewed a little then things won't fit as good. And then you put the first piece down, pull it down tight, and we got that piece on. Now I'm going to put a piece on, on each edge, like this, and I messed it up. Okay. This thin tape is really sucks. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, oftentimes when you're doing this, you're going to have to get, people think the tape going, you just tape everything like that, but no, you just, I, I often use it where I hold it and grab it and rip a piece off. So I got, that piece worked better. Okay, so then you put it down, you fold it, you push it up, and then you pull this piece down. We're going to do the other side. There we go. This is the bottom stone. Now, debating on if I should giving you be giving you the expert course sometimes what I do when I don't want the bottom if you look inside the box there's two flaps but there's a gap in the center and so if you squish stuff down into there sometimes it can kind of bend the bottom thing but I don't want to to make this too difficult on you but what I would do if I was sending this to a customer of mine is I would cut a piece of cardboard to fit in the bottom so oops Oh, it's a little thin, but... And then I'd stick that on the bottom. Oh, well, it'd be better. I, I try to cut a better one so that it would actually fit and be the size of the bottom. But so that it doesn't... So that it, there's less of a of a gap in the bottom so that things won't get pressed down. So there you go. There's the box. Here's a bunch of magazines. I got New Yorkers, a standard size magazine. Although, what I should show you is this is the kind of magazine that we're going to be putting in these boxes. That actually fits in there fine, so I think they should be fine. If you got some that are too big and they just won't fit in this size, let me know and I'll come up with a, I have lots of I, methods to ship every kind of magazine, but I think this should work fine for all of them. Um, given that this one fits, and I've tried a few other ones of this type, and I, I assume this is the kind of um, thing that most of them are. So here we go, put these in. Also, I would like um, you also to ship to me the National Lampoons. And so what you could do is put a few of those in the bottom of some of these boxes because the bottom might tend to be a little smaller and then put all the rest of the porn on the top or something. I don't know if that's going to be necessary. but And then oftentimes what you want to do is, I got all the bindings facing one way and so when I put it in the next stack, I might want to turn them around because that side is usually a little thicker. And now this is going like to the very top and that's what you want because what you want to be is totally tight. We don't want a gap. We want it to be totally tight. And again, sometimes what I do when I'm sending it to a customer is I cut a spacer on the top. But if you want to do that, it's, it's fine. And put a piece of cardboard on the top, but it's fine. This is, like I said, I probably could take one magazine off and it would be fine. Yeah. But this the, but this level of it is fine too. And I'm kind of squishing it down there. And then I put this flap over. And now I got to do the first piece of tape. We're going to make these parallel. You want to make sure that these flaps are pushed together. So sometimes what I do is just put one piece of tape on, pushing these sides together to make it together. And then I'll put the other, the next piece on that goes like this, push this down. 
bring it across, pull this down and get it tight. And then just like I did on the bottom, I'll put a piece across like this and then put it on there. And then we'll get the next one. Like that. Now, here comes the fun part. It doesn't really take that long. When you're shipping this bunch of heavy stuff in a box like this, these few little pieces of tape, it's pretty questionable if you should, you should people ship, ship stuff to me like in, with less tape on it than this. And believe me, it's about to, being handled by all the mail equipment and stuff like that, there's a chance that it could burst open. We don't want that. I don't mind using a little extra tape. So what I always do is put it on some something that I could rotate, like this piece of cardboard or a kitchen table or something, attach it to the bottom and then just start spinning it around. It doesn't really take that long. We've got that box already done. And then what I would do is turn it this way and get it going. Get another layer of tape on there. And you smooth it all down and that should probably, that should be good enough. And then once we get all the boxes, that is not a box that's gonna, gonna open, even with that kind of thin tape, but the tape I got for you is thicker. Then all you gotta do is slap the labels on there. Um, I don't know if you have a printer or not. I'll pro what I'll probably just do is after you get all the boxes together is I'll print all the labels and then I'll priority mail them to you and then you can just slap them on and bring them to the post office and we'll be good to go. And there, there you go. That's all I really, basically, I could have explained that to you, but I just kind of wanted to show you how to do it. Um, is you, can, you can't have too much tape when you're shipping a lot of magazines. And I have ordered things from people before that did not put enough tape and the boxes burst open and stuff. And I don't want to do that with this stuff because it's pretty good. And I'm all done. That's There's no more to say.